I danced that, that song, we were pretty good dancing around together. Alright. Oh man, did you see that? I just squished it. Okay, this is cut 303. This has got a whole new dynamic right now. I just made, I just pushed down too hard. Just wanted to share. I'm making more than one cup at a time right now because I had to get caught up. But these are the different handles that I made. I realized after watching a Simon Leach video that all my cups have feet. Now I don't want to be a production potter, so to me, I, I do like the look of a foot and cut better. And on, in this project, I wanted to experience all types of cups, so I'm going to try and make a cup that doesn't need to be trimmed, so I can thumb it off, per se. Make sure I've done it. It's not my chosen look, like I said, so. But I do want to experience it. You know what I'm saying? I watched, I want to be able to say his name right,
be still a little bit wet as well. So I'm trying to, trying to get used to how quickly things dry inside the house here. And I had a moment. I just realized it's harder for me to wait. <laughs> it's harder for me to wait and for it to dry out enough because I really want to touch it right now. And I'll just show you. I don't usually show you this part. But since I'm not trimming, I put an S on for stoneware. And a three. And a zero. And a... Everything echoes in this room, as I noticed when I watched the throwing clips. 304. Since it's still wet, it makes me want to alter it some. Okay, cut number 304. Except, like I said, it was still too wet, so now I have fingerprints in it. <laughs> 